Hello folks, let's go and take a look at creating a Windows Server and see how simple it is to create one on the Microsoft Azure Cloud Platform. Uh, it's equally simple no matter what OS you choose. Uh, in this video, we'll go take a look at uh, the Windows OS. Uh, they provide you with a free trial in the beginning which gives you a $200 credit valid up to 30 days. You need to provide them with your credit card number but they will not be charging you unless at the end you explicitly go and subscribe to the trial. Previously, I showed you a video about uh, creating the same on Google Cloud Platform. They provide you $300 over 60 days, and these guys looks like they're giving us $200 over 30 days. So let's go start the trial. I'm logging into my uh, Microsoft account or Outlook account. Let's go ahead and provide the information they're asking for. They need to verify your identity by phone and our VOIP phone is not allowed. Uh, they sent me a text and after quite some time I got the option to enter the code here. It's like verify code. Okay, going ahead and entering my credit card information. and sign up. Start managing my services. Here's where you create the computer or the server in question. You go to compute, uh, select whichever operating system and version you want. Here are various options that you have. I'm just going to select the Windows Server here. Select a deployment model. I'm just going to go with whatever comes up by default, Resource Manager. Here is the configuration. I'm going to name it Naresh. Uh, 2017 SSD is a little costlier so I'm just gonna go with HDD for the demo purpose you should name the password has to be I think 12 characters or so pay as you go this is where you would see free and I'm saying pay as you go uh, create a new resource group ideally select a region that's closer to where you are I'm gonna leave it as at West US Hit an OK and once you do that, here are some recommended options that come up with and momentarily you should see the monthly price for them here. There are some options down here uh, which are a little cheaper. I'd like to decide uh, what you want to choose. I think there is one as cheap as uh, $44. Obviously, it's going to be much more slow. I'm just going to go select uh, one of these. I'll just take this one for now. And I'm going to say OK. running some final validation it passed and I'm gonna say OK on that and now it's deploying the server uh, this usually takes I believe up to five minutes and uh, in five minutes the server should be ready for you to log in there we go the deployment succeeded and the server is ready this shows me the CPU usage and all that stuff obviously right now it's uh, zero percent I haven't even logged in yet hopefully I remember the password here is my virtual machine, this one here, the one that says Nourish 2017. Actually, it's pretty straightforward after this point. You click on this and say connect. It downloads an RDP file. You open up that file. Say connect. You send another account. The identity of the computer cannot be verified. Do you want to connect anyway? I'm going to say yes. There you go. Your server is ready. Uh, you know, uh, at this point, you can go ahead and do whatever you need to go do with your server. Uh, you see, that's how simple it was to create and deploy a Windows server. Or if you want any other operating system and are familiar with that OS, maybe I'll later try and create one on Ubuntu or something. But... Yeah, all of them are equally simple. Uh, I'll let you carry on from here. I am going to say this guy, you know, close this guy down here, minimize this, and you know, uh, if you're not using the server, see the CPU usage spiked up a little, not much really. If you're not using the server, I would recommend that you stop it. Uh, you know, that way you are not paying the full. Uh, $98 or whatever you saw in that case. Again, as I mentioned, there were various options. I think the cheapest was 44. Obviously, would be very slow. 
but with the $200 credit that you have for three days, uh, you could go up to $200 if you wanted. You could get even a more powerful server. But hey, that was a video on creating a quick uh, server. Uh, make sure you stop it and even delete it if you don't need it. Probably delete all these later at some point if you don't need them. And yes, you might also want to take a look at their pricing calculator. This will give you an idea of what it's going to cost you for your server or any other service for that matter. But let's take a look at the virtual machine here. The standard ones like kind of run four bucks a month. Uh, you could of course change this to what four hours a day if you wanted for 20 days or something like that. That'll be 11 bucks. Going back to the previous one. Uh, the entire month and if you choose basic that's just 13 bucks a month but again just 0.75 GB RAM not sure what you would do with it but anyways just letting you know the options that you have and if you did want to select A0 this is where you would do it when uh, configuring your server size uh, it gives you all the recommended ones but you go to view all there are many options there just look for A0 and you'll see it's around 14 bucks slightly off maybe the calculator is a little outdated but uh, would give you a very good estimate of what it's going to cost you for the month. Uh, I hope this was helpful, folks. Thank you very much. And if it has helped you, uh, can I request you to give me $20? No? Okay, how about if, you, if it has helped you, just go on and give the video a like. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Have a great day ahead.